Lyme is characterized by a spirochete infection. The spirochete releases bacteria lipoproteins, that is a neurotoxin. The BLP neurotoxins are associated with symptoms like memory problems, burning and neurological pain, and numbness. The spirochete moves in a corkscrew-like motion as it burrows its way through the tissue and organs of the body. The spirochete contains antigens, and the antigens are like fingerprints, which identify this infection to the body's immune system. The dendritic cell is a key part of the immune system. One of the major functions of the dendritic cell is to process the antigen and present it to other parts of the immune system. This is why the dendritic cell is called the antigen-presenting cell. Once the spirochete enters the human body, it comes into contact with the dendritic cell of the immune system. The spirochete rubs or displaces the antigens onto the dendritic cell. Then the dendritic cell begins to process the antigen of Lyme disease for the other parts of the immune system to recognize it. The helper T cells come along and pick up the processed antigen off of the dendritic cell. Then the helper T cells proceed to pass the antigens along to another portion of the immune system called the killer T cells. The job of the killer T cell is to hunt down the spirochete infection and eliminate it by using the antigens to identify the Lyme disease. As the spirochete burrows into the body, it continues to spread its antigen onto the surface of healthy tissue and organs. The killer T cells follow as they seek out the antigen of the spirochete. In this process, the killer T cells begin to destroy healthy tissues and organs because they cannot differentiate between the antigen of the spirochete or the antigen of healthy tissue. As the killer T cells come into contact with the antigen located on the healthy tissue, we begin to see inflammation and destruction of the healthy tissue. This is clearly seen in autoimmune disease process where the immune system cannot distinguish between self and non-self. As the spirochete is continuously moving, it's releasing the BLPs, the bacteria lipoprotein, which is impairing the immune system and causing inflammation, irritation, and damage to the peripheral and central nervous system. The problem remains. The number of cases of Lyme disease reported to the CDC do not represent the total number of cases that exist. Lyme disease, its co-infections, and secondary infections may represent more than 300 different medical conditions, such as chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and other autoimmune diseases.